theories have been founded on population growth and trends. Malthus was one of the theorists who also gave a theory on population. So what was his theory and to what extent is it right? Let's find out. The Malthusian theory of population is a theory of exponential population growth and arithmetic food supply growth. Thomas Robert Malthus, an English cleric and scholar, published this theory in his 1798 writings, an essay on the principle of population. Thomas Malthus theorized that populations grew in geometric progression. A geometric progression is a sequence of numbers where each term after the first is found by multiplying the previous one by a fixed, non-zero number called the common ratio. For example, in its sequence 2, 10, 50, 250, 1250, the common ratio is 5. Additionally, he stated that food production increases in arithmetic progression. An arithmetic progression is a sequence of numbers such that the difference between the consecutive terms is constant. For example, in series 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, the common difference is 3. He derived this conclusion due to the law of diminishing returns. From this, we can conclude that populations will grow faster than the supply of food. This exponential population growth will lead to a shortage of food. No food and growing population? Sounds scary. But Malthus gave a solution to rest our anxieties. He theorized that this could be corrected by positive checks or natural checks and preventive checks. These checks would bring the population level back to a sustainable level. He believed that natural forces would correct the imbalance between food supply and population growth in the form of natural disasters such as floods and earthquakes and human-made actions such as wars and famines. To correct the imbalance, Malthus also suggested using preventative measures to control the growth of the population. These measures include family planning, late marriages and celibacy. The Malthusian trap or Malthusian population trap is the idea that higher levels of food production created by more advanced agricultural techniques create higher population levels which then lead to food shortages because the higher population needs to live on land that would have previously been used to grow crops. Technological advancement would normally lead to per capita income gains, theorizes Malthus, these gains are not achieved because in practice the advancement also creates population growth. Once the population exceeds what food supplies can support, this supposedly creates a Malthusian crisis with widespread famine as well as rampant disease. This ends up decreasing the population to earlier levels. The Malthusian theory of population has been the subject of great controversy. A substantial amount of criticism surrounds his theory. Let us understand the critical point of view of the theory as well. The foremost strong criticism leveled on Malthus is that his mathematical proposition is not supported by facts and history. These two terms, geometrical and arithmetical, seem to be unrealistic. There is no example in history of countries where population and food supply have increased through geometrical and arithmetical progression respectively. Professor Malthus has given undue emphasis on the relation between population and food supply. In fact, increase in population should be considered in relation to total wealth rather than food supply. Professor Seligman argued that the problem of population is not one of mere size but of efficient production and equitable distribution. According to some critics, Malthusian theory is only pessimistic. Thus, it gives a gloomy picture and threatens the people with misery, poverty, epidemics, wars, drought, and floods. William Godwin has rightly observed that a black and terrible demon is always ready to strike the hopes of humanity. Malthus did not realize that economic development can bring down the birth rate. If the people become more educated, then death rate is reduced through the increase of medical facilities. People think twice before increasing their family because they consider the cost of rearing a child and that of having a car. In this way, the birth rate falls down. Malthus explained that population multiplies as fast as it doubles itself in 25 years. But this is not true. Generally, it has been noticed that 
As and when a country develops, birth rate automatically falls down. Malthus ignored the fact that as the standard of living rises in a country, the people begin to marry late. They produce a smaller number of children in order to maintain their standard of living. Female education also helps to reduce the size of the family. Thus, expansion of female education and rise in living standards have the effect of reducing the birth rate in the country. The Malthusian theory was based on the assumption that the law of diminishing returns operates in agriculture. Due to this law, agricultural production fails to keep pace with the growth of population. Malthus could not visualize that, by adopting scientific methods, crop production in agriculture can be increased manifold. The Malthusian theory of population has been inoperative in case of developed countries like Britain and France. Artificial methods of birth control have been used on extensive scale that population has become static in these countries. Now efforts are being made to raise the rate of growth of population. Thus, Professor Malthus's version has proved untrue in these countries. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified. Check out our channel for more interesting content.